Well, here we go. Late January, we finally got a decent snowfall. Give you a look at the wintry scene on the estuary here. It's pretty cool looking. Cool, get it? Cool. It's almost like there's a skim of ice on it. Nice and quiet and calm, except for the ducks. Ducks are all huddled together over there, trying to stay warm. Across the way, there's a Mr. Eagle. Guess those mallards are gonna stay warm the old fashioned way. <laughs> See a little mating uh, courtship. And then he'll do a spin around her after he finishes and she'll flap. <laughs> a lot of that going on lately. Yeah, you should have flown further south. Felt bad for the little juncos, so Ann put out some seeds for them. Need a little extra energy right now. Find a patch that didn't have ice on it. The big toe he's arrived. Hiding in there where the grassy spot is. Give you a peek at the beach side. Water's calm, just a whole lot of gray going on out there. There's a fog comes in. The water out here stays around uh, 45 to 50 degrees. There's some uh, cormorants on the buoy out there. Let's just check on Ann's boat. I don't think there'll be any problem. It has this uh, really cool shrink wrap cover so Basically, the snow just slides off it. Never seems to be much of a problem. A shot of the RV park and an RV spot. Already been up on the roof and cleared a bunch of snow off. I don't really trust this snow. It's so thick and heavy. You get too much up there, then you won't even be able to get it off. It'd be a problem if it freezes and you get ice dams. It'll take you down to where the little duck pond is. Have a look down there, it's really pretty.
People have asked about the Easy Snap RV skirting I put on. Well, I did some temperature measurements today. In the front uh, there, I have a four or 600 watt little electric heater running and an opening it's blowing down into the skirting underneath. So this morning when we got up, it was right around freezing. Of course, you can see it's snowing. And under this part, it was about nine Celsius or so. It's pretty close to 50 Fahrenheit. And under the, the shed there it was seven Celsius, kind of in the 40s. So it's quite a bit warmer. Helps keep my, my plumbing from freezing, no problems there. I also have a heated uh, water hose just in case it gets really cold. Let's see it in there, that uh, blue one. Sure is pretty. Glad I don't have to go driving though. Hang in there, little Junko. As far as inside goes, we're pretty toasty, warm and dry with this dehumidifier I got. It puts out some heat. Well, I just run it 24 seven. And you can see up here what it does with the humidity. It makes it really nice and dry. Right now, the inside humidity is 36%. Outside is 99%. So major difference. What it does is it just keeps everything nice and dry in here so we don't get any condensation on the windows or mold growth or anything like that. And it also is nice and comfortable for us. A nice dry warmth when you come out from the wet, come in from the wet outside. Anne's out there doing some photography. She's doing some type of time lapse panning thing. <laughs> Should be interesting. Anyway, till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Cheers, folks. Enjoy this snowy weather, but uh, hopefully it won't last too long. It's good for a day or so.